Battery backup. Okay. I started putting solar in 2019, kind of went piece by piece. Now I'm up to 62 panels. And I've been wanting to do battery backup. Now, different ways to think about this battery backup. One is if there's a power outage. Well, that's not really an issue for me. Yeah, if there's a if there's a uh, power outage, yeah, I I want you know to have power if I can. And otherwise, I got to plug in a bunch of crap to a generator or something. And, but this doesn't happen very often here. It's really unusual. So what I'm really looking for is power to back up when solar's not there. Now, right now, my uh, my. Uh, utility they they pay me like for like if I produce more power than I use they put it in a bank and I get it back uh, when I don't have enough power well they're not going to do that forever it's you know it's just not going to happen they're going to change that around and reduce the amount that you get by quite a bit and I was kind of want to get ahead of that you see during the day I oftentimes will have up to a hundred kilowatts especially in the in the uh, summer that come in through solar and while well, I don't use anywhere near that much I use maybe 25 to 35 uh, throughout the day okay that gets banked up but they're as I said they're not going to let you do that forever so battery backup is the solution right okay oh I've got a battery backup sitting out in the garage right now 100 kilowatt battery in my Model S car. But of course, Elon don't want you to do that. He's going to do it eventually, you know, before you could power your house. And, and if I wait for Elon, I'm going to wait for a really long time. <laughs> and he's not so trustworthy. Anyway, uh, so I'm thinking why can't I use this 100 kW battery? Well, it just doesn't work out. Then I look at Ford. You know, Ford's pretty, ah, they, they take off. They start doing stuff. Uh, the 150 Lightning. I got an older truck. I could replace the truck, you know, buy that new Lightning. And then I could use it as a battery backup. 100 kilowatt uh, battery or 130 kilowatt battery depending on how much money you want to spend for it. Well I'm going to make a long story short on this truck. It just don't work. And it's only going to work if the power goes off. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for backup during the night. So that that'll carry me over to the day, and then the solar can take over, add in some, and charge up the batteries and so on. But the truck's really not set up that way. It's set up so that if you have a power outage, it can power part of your house. Okay, that's really not going to work. And when we start looking into these batteries, the batteries that are in cars are the are different than the batteries that you use for backup in your house. Uh, cars want the highest energy density they can get. That means they pack a lot of power into whatever the battery weighs. For a battery backup in a home or a structure of any kind, that's not, you don't care. The batteries can weigh whatever they want to weigh and have less energy density and it'll still work out. Plus the uh, iron phosphate batteries that you use for home backup, uh, the ones I'm looking at right now uh, will have 8,000 cycles, they say, and 8,000 cycles means that it will cycle from 100% charge, which I can't do on my car, I usually can go to 80%, I can't go to 100 uh, in 
it'll go from 100% down to 20% before it shuts off and that gives me more capacity. Yeah, it's heavy. One, uh, a 14 kilowatt battery weighs 300 pounds. <laughs> really heavy freaking battery. Anyway, uh, so what I've come up with is don't buy a truck to power your house because the way it's set up now, it's really not going to do what you want. I want to run everything in my house on solar. I'm, and power outages are really not something I'm concerned about. So, you buy batteries that are just for your backup for your solar. And that's what I've done. I've got an EG4 unit, the eight, uh, 18 a PKU uh, inverter charger. Okay, that's a, uh, one of the latest systems as of now. Uh, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to buy the battery backup or the batteries for, for the uh, uh, inverter charger. And it looks pretty seamless. I'm going to go into a video on this thing here pretty soon, but this video is just simply about should you use a car or a truck or something like that to try to power your house when when the solar is no longer there. I don't think it's practical. I think what you need to do is have separate batteries for it and that's it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to continue this video uh, in a short time. I've already got the inverter. I don't have the batteries yet. We'll have a little discussion about how those things came about. But uh, I'm going to use this inverter. Uh, and it costs, well, let's see, I've got two batteries coming. And it costs about 13000 before the... Uh, uh, before the rebate, the 30% rebate from the Fed. So it's pretty reasonably priced. And I've got that uh, that I'm going to assemble together and I'll start going over how this thing works out and what I think it's going to do and so on. But for now, uh, I just wanted to go over why I did not go into using a vehicle or something like that and using that battery as my backup for solar. And that's it on this one.